I would be definitely showing you good side and bad side as well. After seeing both sides of the coin, you have to decide. Hey everyone, welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. Is automation engineering is a good field for you? If you are looking for the job in PLC, DCS, SCADA and HMI till IoT and Industry 4.0 Industrial Digitalization domain, this video is right for you. I would be definitely showing you good side and bad side as well. After seeing both sides of the coin, you have to decide whether automation is really right field for you or not. Let's start with the good side of it. When we talk about industrial automation field, it's an evergreen field. So nowadays, if in the case you got in skills like with artificial intelligence, cloud computing and in industry digitalization industry 4.0 these skills would be added advantage for you if, if in the case you want to grow in the field of automation this is not only the past demand of automation engineers would definitely grow in future when we talk about technologies like PLCs, DCS and SCADA and HMI, the importance of that cannot be ignored when we talk about processes like oil and gas, fertilizer, chemical plants and power plants. These oil plants need to be automated and you would definitely see automation involved there. You would see PLCs, DCS, SCADA and HMI. Not only that, you might see some big companies like Siemens, GE, Rockwell and, and ABB, Emerson, these all companies need automation engineers. You know, the salary side of that is one aspect. The salary of automation engineers as compared to those who are working in, in instrumentation, telecom and other fields are comparatively very high. If I talk about my friends working in telecom industry, their salaries are way less as compared to automation engineers. The salary wise automation engineering is one of the best. If in the case you got a craze of traveling, you know you want to travel worldwide in a different countries on the company cost, automation engineering is one of the field that's good for you. With the advancements like you know industrial digitalization, industry 4.0, industrial IoT, these technologies are emerging. In the case you acquire knowledge in data science, you got a knowledge about con cloud computing. So if in the case you got in some knowledge of 4.0, this is definitely going to be a big advantage if in the case you want to grab a job in the field of automation. So at the end, this totally depends on your passion. If in the case you are passionate about that and you love, you have a logical mindset. So if you are logical, then automation field can definitely play a good role in your career and that can help you to excel in your career on the money factor, on the growth factor both. When we talk about automation, it's already stealing the jobs with the you know advancement in the robotics especially robotics automation is cutting a lot of jobs worldwide but there's a no risk to the automation field those engineers who got in that skills will definitely be in high demand now i'm gonna tell you the bad side of the coin if in the case you don't like traveling you don't want to spend you know your time in the late hours in the office when i was working in g dubai so I used to sit very late hours in the night time in the office. That's one of the things that you have to keep in your mind. Like if you want to grab a job in automation field, then you have to keep in mind that you might have to travel a lot. Initially, when you are looking for the job, the traveling would look very attractive for you. When I was applying for the job, I love to get a job which actually allow you to travel in different countries. But when it comes to reality, when you really join the job, things are really different because when you have a schedule that is dependent on the company, you are not 110% sure whether you are going to be available for any functions in your friends and family for coming months. If you commit something and there is a site coming up at that, that particular time, for sure you cannot deny that site. And it's high chances that you are going to miss that your family function. Initially, it looks very attractive that you're traveling. As per my past experience with G, I traveled three sites consecutive. Back-to-back -back sites, it was very hectic. If you get into the automation, initially you need to travel for five or six years a lot. But with the passage of time, with the experience you're going to get, 
the traveling would be minimized. So this is one of the factor you have to also keep in your mind. And along with that, you have to stay late hours into the office. So if you are not logical person, you don't want to use your brain and you just want to do the routine things that then in that case, automation engineering is not for you. Those people who just want to do the normal routine things, you know, the fees like electrical and instrumentation is very good for them because they don't have to use brain all the time to program the things. Totally depend on the, you know, on the mindset you have. If you're logical and you're passionate about automation field, then automation engineering is one of the best high rewarding field that exist, that have a current, that have a past and that have a future. Thanks for watching this video. Till next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.